Happy Easter to the Lent Madness Global Viewing Public. I'm Scott Gunn, coming to you live from Forward Movement's Global Headquarters in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm with Tim Skenk, who's coming to you live from the Diocese of Massachusetts Clergy Conference at a fancy Cape Cod resort. Hello, Tim. Hello, Scott. How are you? I'm doing just fine, although I'm not at a fancy Cape Cod resort. Well, I know, and, and things like this keep flying around my uh, my room. Say, uh, uh, I don't know what if there's a patron saint of seagulls. Maybe I guess that would be Francis. I don't know. Right. So, uh, so I was just in Chicago a couple of times, and on my most recent trip to Chicago, I was at the conference of Episcopal communicators, people from literally all over the world in the communications business, and there's an awards ceremony, and Lent Madness won an award. Yes, and I understand it was the top award in the category of... Lent and Devotions? No, no, no. In no. Social Media Integration. Ah, whatever that means. That's excellent. So we are now the, not only are we the world's most popular online Lenten devotion, we are the award-winning world's most popular Lenten devotion. That's exactly right. So uh, I don't have the certificate to show you because it's, it's being framed or something, but uh, it's, it was very impressive, although I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm pretty bitter that we didn't get a statue. So I've decided on my own that uh, I'm just going to uh, call this my Polly Bond. It's named after the famous communicator Polly Bond. Um, and so I'm just going to use this. Or if that seems a little too pious, maybe something a little more practical, uh, Lego Man. Mm. Uh, yeah, so w can we have them bronzed? Yeah, I, I think so. Okay, excellent. Any Anyway, so it was, it was pretty great to get some recognition, and uh, everyone there loves Lent Madness, and uh, and who doesn't, really? Right, and next up is the, uh, we are gunning for an Emmy for this production, Monday Madness. The high production values, um, notwithstanding, uh, we're, we're in line for that, I believe. That's exactly right, and um, and probably because of the, the, the competition that the... the the athletic competition, the good sportsmanship, the athletic prowess that gets demonstrated, I would think we should also win a Heisman or something, too. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much if there's an award out, the Stanley Cup, it doesn't really matter. We'll take it. Absolutely. Um, so that's pretty exciting. And I guess uh, it's, getting, it's getting to be, it, with Easter, I think after people enjoy their lilies and sing their hymns, their Charles right. Wesley hymns, I might add, yeah. um, pretty much the next thing people start to think about is it's nomination season. Right, which is uh, going to be a very exciting time. There will be a one-week period where we will be accepting nominations, and that will be starting on Tuesday, May thirteenth. Yes. Right. And so we will we will send out some information about that, but um, that is when you simply will will reply to the post on our website, which is, what again? I forgot, it's after uh, Lent. Oh, right. Uh, it, I don't think it's changed. I believe you can oh. still find um, all sorts of goodness at www.lentmadness.org. Uh, very good. So that's where you would go to see this post on Tuesday, May 13th, and you can submit nominations, as many as you want, I guess. Right. Um... And, uh, and this year, we might, in our discernment of the bracket, uh, you know, we, we've made videos about how this works. Uh, we, we rely on the reading smoke, and uh, we throw pamphlets on the floor and see what they learn. We, we've used your ferrets to discern. This right. year, Ouija. I'm thinking we might yep. be able to draw cards. And uh, we have uh, special cards this year. Oh, look at that. That yeah. is some fancy cards. Yeah, and I thought I might uh, just draw a card here and see, um, you know, uh, a relative value of, of us. So let's see here. I'm just going to draw this one. Uh, this is me. And, uh, uh, and uh, let's see. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, um, that's witty. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, Lent Madness cards. You know you want them, and they are now available in the Lentorium. And, and where would you get to the Lentorium? Uh, well, Tim, you would go to the Lent Madness website, but I can't quite remember the URL. 
Oh, is that the one that's www.lentmadness.org? That's it, exactly. Excellent. So, and what else might you find in the Lentorium? Well, this year uh, we have uh, new um, Charles Wesley mugs to commemorate his victory in Lent Madness 2014. Pretty exciting stuff. And we also have, that's a white mug with his image, uh, yeah. which you can now see on your screen. And we also have purple mugs that say, that say, who will win the Golden Halo? And they're sort of perpetual Lent Madness mugs, timeless. Uh, the things you can pass down to your grandchildren and they'll be as, as current in 2057 as they are today. Right. Well, that sounds excellent. Well, we will look forward to... Uh to spreading the Easter joy by uh, buying things uh, from the Lentorium. Yeah, now speaking of Easter joy, uh, I was in Target just yesterday and I ran across something that I think neatly bridges the chasm between Lent and Easter. So often there's a rigid dichotomy and that's changed. I found these eggs and uh, they are Angry Birds eggs. You can see them there, Angry Birds mm -hmm. eggs. But the remarkable thing about them is they are can you read that? They are oh, but, they are lent lenticular. Yes, yes. So they are Easter eggs that are lenticular, which I think yeah. uh, I got these on sale in the Easter section for ninety percent off. So wow. well, normally we're we're telling people to go to the Lentorium and, and spend your hard earned mm -hmm. cash. When you're done watching this video, you should just get in your car, immediately drive to the nearest Target, and buy like a yeah. hundred of these things. Right, and we don't get any kickback from that, believe it or not. We're not getting any kickback from this, but I yeah. think it's really the perfect thing. Because if you think about it, angry birds, birds, I mean, you've got one there. It's the perfect symbol of nature yeah. and dove and peace and all that. And anger um, is, yeah. is um, you know, uh, the little birds are angry about sin or something. So that's perfect. Yeah, and this seagull looks very angry. Okay, well, I, I think that might do it for this week's edition of Monday Madness. Good to see you, Scott. And from, well, it's kind of gray out, but from Cape Cod, happy Lent. Happy Lent.